guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on my IMAT haul, as you can obviously tell by the title. Um, I went to IMAT on Sunday. IMAT is an international makeup artist trade show and it's basically like a fair where you have um, a massive space with loads of um, makeup companies selling makeup and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it was a weekend long event. Um, I think they had it on Friday, Saturday and Sunday and I got to attend on the Sunday. And yeah, I was really looking forward to it. This is my first time ever going to an IMAT um, event, like ever. So I kind of knew what to expect, obviously based on other people's videos and you know vlogs that I've seen on YouTube. I did know what to expect, but I was a tad bit disappointed. I don't know, I was expecting a lot more because um, I kind of, like put my spending on makeup to a, halt, to a halt because I was really looking forward to going and just like well I didn't want to go crazy but I did think that I was going to buy quite a bit of makeup that I've been lusting for especially um, from brands that you don't readily get here in the UK I didn't see a lot of that at the fair so it was a bit disappointing um, all in all it was a good day I spotted quite a few beauty gurus but um, I was so focused and buying makeup that I didn't even think to like socialize with other people or you know walk up to other people and introduce myself and all that kind of stuff maybe next time if I go I'll probably be a bit more relaxed but I was just really really focused on getting makeup and like getting the best deals so yeah pretty much that was my experience um as I said, I went on a Sunday, I, I went to IMAT on Sunday, Saturday was completely sold out and Friday was just for makeup, pro makeup artists, so I went on a Sunday and um, it, wasn't, it wasn't as packed as I thought it would be because every time I watch IMAT's vlogs, people are always like, oh it's so packed and the queues are out of the door, it wasn't so packed, I got there at 2.30pm 2 on Sunday and I stayed till about 5, so yeah I spent a good three hours it wasn't as it wasn't packed it was just okay like an okay crowd so I'm just gonna share with you some of the things that I bought from IMAD and I hope you enjoy okay so this as usual is the massive IMAT bag that you get and um, yeah we're just gonna go through each of the items one by one once I got into the venue I made a beeline towards OCC which is um, obsessive compulsive cosmetics. I've been dying to try their lip tiles because I've heard so much about them and I really really wanted to at least get at least one lip tile. So um, yeah I went straight to their store and I managed to pick up two lip tiles. So I got one in Roller Girl and Strumpet. Roller Girl is um, your basic um, blue tone purple like I've been on a purple craze lately so yes I really wanted to get a purple lip tile and Strumpet looks like a dark fuchsia pink those were the two colors that I got I also got two pigments I got Artifact and 12 the next place I went to was um, Nigel Emporium yeah they had these lashes for um, seven lashes for 10 pounds this is number 138 and then I got this one which is number 62 and then this in number 47 and these don't they don't have any names on them they just have a number and then also from Nigel Emporium I got a Z palette and I just thought it would be nice to hold some of my loose my loose eyeshadows or blushes that I don't have anywhere else to put them so yeah I just got a basic um, Z palette and that's what it looks like and then it's also got some magnets in there as well which is quite handy so I got this concealer palette from a makeup atelier I really want an orange con like an orange concealer that I can use for correcting so this one right here I'm not gonna swatch it because it is so pigmented guys like seriously I swatched this orange one right here on my at the back of my hand and it was so difficult to clean off because like I literally just like dip my hand into it and it, a little goes a long way with this product I was so amazed I was like okay you don't even have to sell this to me I'm so gonna buy it and this was 17 pounds which I think was 
quite good because I mean you get a whole load of other shades as well. I know MAC does a concealer palette as well um, with different <clears throat> with different shades in it and I think it goes for about £40 or something ridiculous, no £35 I think, yeah £35 and this was £17 so I thought this was a good bargain so I got, I'll try and find out if you can get this online, if I do find it I'll leave a link down below. So yeah, I'm so excited to try out this product. And then I went to MAC, <laughs> MAC was having a 50% off um, all their items. Um, so yeah, I got a couple of things. Really boring stuff because this is stuff that you can easily get at the Mac store. It's just things that I've been wanting to get for a long time and since they had a discount I just thought hey, I might as well just get them. First off, I got two blushes. The first one is an Ambering Rose and the second one is in Raisin. I've heard so much about these blushes. And then I also got two lipsticks. So I got one in Modesty and then the other one in Relentlessly Red. So this is what they look like. I'm just going to show you. I'm sure you've all seen these colours. As I said, my shopping at MAC was pretty boring. It's just stuff that I've been wanting to get for a while. This is what Relentlessly Red looks like. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous red lipstick. Got a pink tone to it as well, but it's, oh, it's so gorgeous. I can't wait um, to wear this lipstick. And then I got Modesty, which looks like this. And this is just a basic nude lipstick. And then finally from MAC, I got a lip pencil. I know, right? Really boring haul from MAC. Like, seriously, guys. Um, there was nothing exciting at the MAC counter. They didn't have any of the limited edition collections. Nothing. They just had the basic stuff, which I think was a bit of a letdown because, I mean, the whole idea of coming to a fair is so that you, what well, I think, anyways, is so that you can see items that you don't usually get at the store and, you know, exciting things. That's what I was expecting, but then they just had their basic items that they have at their Mac store. Anywho, um, I got this lip pencil in Cherry, and this is what it looks like. It's just your basic um, red lip liner. This is my first ever lip liner from Mac because I've got loads of NYX lip liners, and I really don't think spending 10, 15 pounds on a lip liner is worth it. But they had a 15% off as I said and um, I just wanted to see what the hype is about their lip pencils um, and maybe you'd see how they compare to the NYX lip pencils. So that's all I got from MAC. The next store that I went to was Crown Brushes and I just got a few of their brushes. Again, nothing exciting, just your plain basic brushes. Um, I got five of them, they were pretty inexpensive. So I got these two brushes I think will be great for packing eyeshadow onto the lid and on the brow bone as well and then I got these two pencil brushes which I thought will be great for packing color into the crease so it should fit like literally right there in the crease so I just got these two for that and then finally I got a spoolie brush I just thought it was a handy brush to have so I got that as well. And then I went to Sugar Pill and they gave me this massive bag. And looking at this bag, you'd think I bought the whole world from Sugar Pill. No, I bought one thing, literally one thing. An eyeshadow palette, like literally just got one eyeshadow palette. And um, I've never tried, I've never tried cosmetics from Sugar Pill before. I noticed their store was like really bright and really colorful and they had these um, girls dressed up like dolls with like massive false lashes and they just look amazingly colorful so I just thought hey I might as well just give this a go and they had these palettes they were selling these palettes for 20 pounds so basically it was four eyeshadows for 20 pounds and then one eyeshadow for seven pounds so I thought I might as well just get the four of them so I got these four and yeah as you can see they're really colorful I'm really trying to step out of the box here because as you can see I'm always about the neutral eyes and um, keep the boldness of the lips but I really want to experiment with colorful eyeshadows I just thought this would be a nice um, addition to my collection that's it guys for my haul from iMac as I said I was a bit let down with the items that they had on sale for one if you're trying to get to iMac and you're not like a massive youtuber with like 10,000 million subscribers you have to pay to get in and you pay 45 pounds for 45 pounds I really thought I would find find really good deals and see brands from the states or from other parts of the world that we don't get here in the UK. They had a NYX store and the line was literally like around the, like literally around the entire fair like people were queuing up just to buy NYX products. I'm like seriously 
I can just get these products on Cherry Culture or like or like BeautyJoint.com or something. Um, why should I have to pay to get into a fair and then queue to buy these items? Like it just doesn't make sense to me. I really wasn't impressed with the pricing. I don't think there were, there were that many discounts. And I don't think there were that many brands as well. They had Makeup Forever, they had NARS, they had Bobbi Brown, but that's like the normal makeup brands that we see every day over here. If you guys went to IMAX in London, I want to know what your experience was. I mean, because when I watch the people that go to IMAX in the States, like the LA one and the New York one, and they talk about all the things they buy, and I was just, you just get so excited just from watching their haul, and you think, oh, you know, when it eventually comes to the UK, that you know, you just, go cray cray but unfortunately that wasn't the case for me at all anyways enough of my rambling thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was somewhat entertaining to some of you yeah will i be going for imax next year i don't think so i might as well just order it online um yeah the moral of the story is don't get too excited for imax in london maybe in the states yeah or canada or somewhere else but in london no. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!